Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today we're going to be continuing the Mixplay Interactive tutorial. So in the last few videos, we've learned how to make a button, uh, we learned how to make the button play a sound, we learned how to make the button show an image, and we learned how to make the button produce some text, all on that area. So next, we're going to dive a little bit into the deeper part of it, and we're going to learn how to create a main menu of sorts. So you're going to learn how to set it up and get your buttons all correct, and then we're going to continue from there. And depending on how long this tutorial lasts, we may break that up into the next part. So what we're going to do, I'm going to explain, is we're going to remove this air horn button, and we're going to make a button that regular viewers can enter, and then we're going to make a button that VIP users can enter. And so with VIP, you can um, customize who enters that by being either subscribers, um, to your Vixer, or you can have special names just added in. I have one on mine called Patrons, and so I custom add their names in, and then they're allowed to press that button. And if you're not a subscriber or a patron, that button will not let you enter that room. If you load up Mixer, top right, go to Dev Lab. I already have it open in another tab, and we're gonna see our air horn button, and we're just gonna remove it. We don't have to delete it, we're just gonna get it out of the way. So we're gonna add a button right now, and we're gonna call this casual viewer hit add click the little arrow let's call it casual viewer we're gonna hit a little x and that's good this is a key thing to remember when you're working with different scenes and different rooms and stuff like that you want to name these controls an abbreviated version of your room so right now we're in the main menu so we don't have to really adjust it any different but let's just say we have other rooms open like when our casual viewer hits the casual viewer button and it goes into their casual viewer room we want to make sure all our buttons inside there you know are very similar like c dash and then the name of our button so casual or something like that and then if they go into the vip room we want v dash something it's just for organizational purposes and so you don't repeat buttons and basically so firebot doesn't get confused if you have buttons that are called the same thing so if you have a button on your casual and your vip room and they're both called laugh Firebot can get confused on that because they're named the same thing. I like to separate mine out. So for casual viewer though, we're gonna keep it right there and then we're gonna add another button, call it VIP viewer. I'll space that out right there. Add the button, cool. Let's name it VIP viewer. Great, we don't need any spark costs. Tooltip, VIPs only. Now we say close the X and now we have our buttons. So. Uh, we can even make a third thing and call it, we'll make a label. How about that? Lou. Main menu. And then we hit uh, add. And then we add this. Text main menu. Text color. Now nah, we'll make it like red or something like that. Bold. Let me close this. So we drag our main menu right here. Let's make it long. That looks about centered. And then we drag our casual viewer button right here. Let's make that a bit bigger. And then we drag our VIP viewer right here. Let's make that about the same size. Something like that. Put it over here. Oh. All right, so once we've done that, we can hit save. And we have successfully made our buttons. They don't do anything yet, but they're gonna go into different places. So next thing you want to do is make the rooms that they're going to go into. So right now, when everybody enters your stream, they are immediately put on the default scene. So we're going to change a new, we're going to add a new scene and we're going to name this casual room. That should be good. Hit add. And then all your buttons are going to be gone and all your buttons here are going to be gone because all that's all the stuff we created is specifically for this scene and they cannot be copied over, so you're gonna have to recreate them, which is which can be a pain in the butt. So you gotta make sure you make your scenes correctly and you make the buttons according to whichever scene you're in before you start adding new rooms. You can't pre-make all the buttons and then put them in the rooms you want them to. So you create your default scene. These are all the buttons I want in this scene. Then we go in our casual room. Now we gotta make some new ones. So let's do controls, a button. We'll name it air horn as well. Hit add this, let's do air horn. Spark cause nothing, tooltip. It's a loud horn. And we'll make it 
border color white. Okay, close it, let's drag it into place. And then we make a new room, so this is our casual room, so we're gonna make a VIP room now, so new scene, VIP room, add. So let's go back one more thing. Remember I told you earlier we gotta kinda name these differently, so when your buttons, I like to put C dash for my casual room, C dash air horn. And then we go to VIP room, and we're gonna do this, V dash air horn. Now let's do a laugh, V dash laugh. So we're gonna make a button that just does some audience laughter. Hit okay, this, this, we're gonna do laugh, border color, make it white, and close, drag it, bang. So another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a back button, and you have to make that separately for every one of these as well, because if they're a default user, or if, they're, if they land on the default scene, the main menu scene, um, and then they click casual viewer, but they're really a VIP viewer, they wanna go back and go into that VIP room because it may have better buttons or it may have gifts that do whatnot, so they won't be able to go back unless they re-enter your stream, if they press refresh and start over. Or you can make a back button. So VIP room, we're gonna make another button, call it V back, add, and we're gonna call it go back. And then we close it. Oh, let's make a background color. Let's do border color, red. This, close, back button right here. Then we gotta do the same thing in casual room. Plus sign, C back. Add, change the name, go back. Border color, let's make it red again as well. Close and back there right here okay so now we got our buttons and we have if they if they land in the default room then they're like oh i choose casual viewer they go in a casual room they see an air horn and then they can go back and it'll bring them back to the default scene so that's what we needed to do there let's save it once you've got it saved then we go back into firebot and let's unlink this what we do is go to change board at the top Resync board and now we're gonna see our rooms and our buttons that we created So the default has the main menu tag and then our buttons themselves and there we go So this is where it gets a little bit confusing um, Because we're gonna have to make the viewer groups and we're going to make groups that these buttons attach to so in a way the scene you're in determines what group you're in and so only a person of that group can press the buttons on that scene. And so that's kind of how Mixer does it. Instead of making some sort of little hierarchy that's pretty easy to use, this is the way they made it. So all we gotta do is basically, whenever they press casual viewer button, it's gonna switch their Mixer user profile to a casual viewer group. And then it's gonna allow them to enter the casual viewer scene. And when they go back, it's gonna switch them to the default group and then it's gonna allow them to press these buttons. And if they click VIP, it's gonna switch them to a VIP group. And that's pretty much, if that makes a little bit of sense, that's kind of just how it is on that aspect. Um, so what we gotta do first thing is go to viewer groups at the left and we have to create the groups. Now I already have these created from my actual mixer scene that I use, my mix play scene. And so yours may look a little different. And so what you need to do is make a new group for each scene that you want them to go into. So if you have a casual viewers button, you're gonna have to go ahead and make casual viewers group. So new group, name it casual viewer, and you don't have to add specific users to it. Just so once you've made it, just call it casual viewers and it'll appear right there. Now, if you have a Patreon of sorts, then you can make a Patreon only room, or you can mix that in with the VIP room for Mixer subscribers as well. So go to new group and then name it VIP. And once you've done that, it'll become a group right here. Now, if you do have patrons, this is how I found it works perfectly. You have to make a specific patron group as well, even though you're not gonna make a patron scene. You're basically gonna link the VIP scene to the list of patrons. So make a patron group. This is a good way of testing as well, uh, your VIP room. So I have J Hama and then a couple of my patrons in here. And I could remove J Hama so I can show you um, what it looks like 
with a different account logged in and them trying to hit the VIP button when they're not in fact VIPs. So I'm gonna remove Jay Hamma and save the changes. Now I have two patrons. So we got our casual groups, which is definitely what we need. Now once we've done that, go to buttons, and then we are in the main menu. So next we're gonna hit scene settings over here at the top. Now this is basically the default menu that your users are gonna land on per how you classified them. So if you have a big list of patrons and they enter your mix play, it automatically gets noticed by Firebot that, hey, they're a patron, they're gonna be dropped in, bam, wherever you chose patrons to be. So we're gonna click default and we're gonna put our patrons right here and our subscribers right here. These are the two extra people basically. So everybody's a default user or a casual viewer except for patrons and subscribers. So we still want the patrons and subscribers to go to the main menu to choose where they want to go. So we hit save and now our default people, patrons and subscribers, which classifies every one of our viewers, at least they're all now in a group, are all gonna land on the default when they first enter your mix play. And so this episode's looking like it's coming to an end. And so I know we're not done, but I'm gonna be splitting this one up because it's getting pretty long. And next episode, I'm gonna continue this whole main menu process. So thanks for watching. If it helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe. That'll help me out. I got plenty of other stuff on my channel to check out. Tons of tutorials, video games, video editing stuff, stream lab stuff. Check it out, you might find something you like. But thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.